this photocopy to disassemble. As you can see, it's completely broken on the front, completely going through. So it's just a matter of stripping out, see what parts I can get. I can't really tell what number it is, but all the manuals fit everything key in here. And it would either be the 35, 45, or 55. We're seeing the 5 there, it looks like the 5-5, five, five, so it's the 55. So yeah, our work center 55. Don't know if it's copy center, work center, work center pro. So let me get it, let's see what you can get inside of this. In the top paper feed area, we're seeing two stepper motors. Not bad at all, a couple pulleys, uh, sorry, gears. Looks like a belt there, belt here going down. So let me get this out. I think this is pretty much all I'm interested in up here. Little boards and these other things may not be too useful. A bit more progress. Pull out all the wires from here, take all the top, take all the things, take all the fields, got the two motors out. There was a solenoid in there. There's an next solenoid here. I'm gonna grab some shafts that could be useful. Uh, these rollers, but yeah. After that, head's done. Completely disassembled. Interestingly, product identifier um, 04. 7 point so 2004 technology does not come off i'm gonna take this off take this one off i'm feeling this is micro switches so i'm definitely going to keep this board micro switches are always good always useful um i suspect again this is probably the display i'll see if that has any use in it um me or me not may not be able to use it this is a really nice mechanism if you look at it it's a whole set of pulleys parallel pulleys as for control, they have a motor here, just now we open the motor. That's the stepper motor there, and that's pulling on this. Um, a whole interesting pulley system that allows you to slide this completely over. A uniform movement, extremely useful. Unfortunately, this whole thing seems to be welded. It seems to be mostly MIG welded and welded onto the frame and the entire frame seems to be welded together again make so that's not coming out easily i don't have a grinder here on me so i'm going to try to take off these bottom set of screws uh, hopefully this entire mechanism on top comes off i'll leave in the motor leave in other things but we'll see at the back there's two different mechanisms i still haven't figured out how to move this out of it motor as we expect Encoder in the bottom there, optical encoder. Interesting ball by itself. In the back of this one it seems to have a very big drum, flywheel type of mechanism. Uh, some good gears if you're looking closely. Two extra fans, a power board, some control board, and I assume this is another power mechanism down the bottom. We'll see how that goes. So progress has been a little slow. Uh, the whole thing is well into it, so it's a little bit more troublesome than I thought. But let's get on with it. And so that little piece in the back is actually the computer. Uh, this is a full motherboard, Intel processor, um, expansion slots, RAM in there. I'm not sure what these expansion boards are, but I mean this is proper computer board, power supply. I would expect probably a standard reel. Um, hard drive. Of course, IDE back in those days, but yeah, proper, proper um, computer. Wouldn't you believe it? This actually slides out. And this is yet another computer, right? You can see expansion slots, I assume memory, but uh, actually not memory because of the number of things here. Probably this or this, this might be memory, but then anyway, probably PCI slots. Another chip, another chip, VG chips. Um, I guess this might be the power supply for it. Uh, we'll have a look and see. Chances are likely it's a power supply. We'll see. And then, having a look back at that there, that board is not power. That's a high voltage board. It has a high voltage tap off. Yeah, maybe I should be a little careful there. Um, that might be fairly dangerous. So no, this is not actually power and this is some expansion slot. I'm having lots of problems getting that screw out. So the bottom one is coming out but the top one isn't so it's definitely not 
gonna come out and it's not with my red anyway. First board has some flash memory on it, but it clearly is something else. The other two, RAM. Kingston RAM, uh, but it's different RAM. So interesting by the way that they actually chose to use, you know, the front manufacturer RAM. This is where the power comes in. This is the power distribution board. So power is coming in from somewhere else. Shoom, this most likely and then distributing to the relevant items and the power came across through this from there, through to this from there. So nice connectors, I'll probably grab this board and the connectors. Interesting method of illumination, this is actually inside the main copy here. And what they've done is a curved piece of plastic and some very small LEDs. Again, 2004 technology, so maybe this was the best method. Again, very different too from what we've seen for the scanners, but again, requirements will be different. And while we are at the top, open up the optical part on the top here. Um, just for the fun of it, I guess, they chose different screws again. So the first set of screws was um, torque space screws. This is a different kind of torque space screws. And then much of the rest of it is uh, Phillip head screws. So yeah, quite a wide mix of screws. So I'll get a chance and pull this out, just take this whole module and try to get into the inside. What I really have to is for the um, big motor heads here. Manage to take out the flywheel in the back. There's another fan there, the second fan there. There's a square cage type fan on that side there too. And some gears, see if I can get those. So I've managed to get the whole top off. That whole thing comes off in one part. That's what I was trying to do. I didn't realize that I had to get this tray on the bottom with it also. So that came off and now I have a bit more access to the back here. This whole piece comes out and slides for one piece. I think I'm just going to take this and dump it in my bag of things to open another day. It's getting a little late and I'm a bit, you know, uh, behind on this. So let me get, just take these things out as they are. I got the bigger gears I could and abandon the rest. This is under the cover, caution, laser radiation, uh, aluminum cast item. Nice, actually, quite nice. Um, some reflectors, uh, prison, well, not a prison actually, um, hmm. kind of an elliptical lens. Um, interesting, I haven't seen one of those. Um, looks like an ordinary lens, some sort of glass piece here. I don't know what this one is. And I assume this is probably the laser spinning at high speed coming through here, hitting and reflecting across here. And I'm not sure how it's going down. Maybe it's passing over and coming across and hitting this one to go down into the actual body where it's going to hit the drum that we took out, the photosensitive drum, and then the high voltage electrostatic charge should pull where it's hit and basically then rotates and turns into the paper. And it deposits it, then you have the heating element which I took out also, and that heating element would bake it on. Progress was made, as you can see the back is coming off in sort of one piece. Hopefully it's all stays together. I would prefer not have to strip it in small parts at this point in time. Um, again, the inside seems to be able to come out. If I get this out in the back, I get that fan out, um, I'm probably 90% done with this part of it. I don't know if the high voltage board have anything useful, but again, I guess high voltage boards are always you know, unique and may have something, so let me try taking that without getting injured, of course. Um, beyond that, we look for the one or two little solenoids that may be here and there, and that might be the end of this. This one's still, well, still pending. I'm busted, tired, seen up destruction. Yes, parts all over. Time to clean up, not my office, so. I need to clean this place up, even if it was my office actually, I need to clean this place up. But anyway, there's still a motor in there. 
There's some belts of stones. I don't know what is in there. Got some gears, got some belts in there. I'm just too tired right now. At least I got one of the bases. So, that's the four wheels. There's another one on that. But, that's enough today.